Hi, it's me again with Corolla Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this photograph and asked how you could draw that in Corel Draw. Well, we first need to learn how to draw a line that's equal. This, this is perfectly, no matter what you do to it, both ends are curved the exact same amount. Go to your ellipse tool, pick on your arc, holding down the control button, and you're going to get this ellipse, a quarter of ellipse, so it'll be perfect. Now we make a duplicate of this and just move it out of the way for a second. <clears throat> then take your two-point line and start moving and hold down your control button. Now we're going to mirror this one both directions, so it's like that. Grab that corner node right there and have it snap to it. Now we need to select it all and go up to object and combine it. Now it's really one line, but if we look at it with the shape tool, those nodes are still double nodes. So we're gonna select all of them. We're gonna to go to Windows, Dockers, and Join Curves, and now you select them all and then hit Apply, and now it's just four nodes. Now we need to take this line and Control D and make a duplicate. While holding down the control button, move it down a little bit. And then control D, control D, control D. You can have as many or a few lines you want. I'm going to go ahead and group that together. Now, this was evidently done with the, um, or a um, interactive, oh, not interactive. Uh, let me erase that. Uh with the artistic media tool. So we're going to go to the artistic media. First of all, we're going to make a copy of this because <clears throat> I'm going to show you it's a lot easier to do it as a hairline to match it up than it is once it's an artistic media tool. So I'm going to click on there and then go up. That's too thick. So we're going to make it thinner. I made it quite a bit smaller than the original drawing. Let's go to like 0.4. Now, if you started trying to, uh, I'm going to control D and make a duplicate and then rotate it 90 degrees and possibly flip it. We want that right there because we want to bring this right into here, but there's really nowhere to kind of see where it is. Now I did pretty good, but I think it's a little easier with doing it with hairlines. So we're going to control D and duplicate it, rotate it 90 degrees, mirror it, and then bring this node and have it kind of snap to another node. I'm going to still try to figure out a better way. So that's pretty good. And then just keep doing it. And I am going to figure out a better way and I'll show you. But then you can take the whole thing and go to your artistic media tool, click on it and go up a little bit and you get that effect. Now our lines are perfectly in line with the other ones. <clears throat> so if I do figure out a better way to move it over easily, I will make a second video. But then all you all the, all they're doing is just copying to get, you know, let's group this one together. Control G, Control D to make a duplicate. <clears throat> and they're just moving this new one over to like right there. And then you can, and, and I, I think I did pretty close. Now, if you hit it on the first time, you see we're off it just a little bit. So we're gonna set our nudge factor on 0 0.001 and we're gonna nudge up as long as they're close because that artistic media tool is gonna take care of that. And then group that get together, control G, and then maybe take that node right there and have it snap in that corner. We. There's really nothing. I must not have made a duplicate. <clears throat> There's really nothing to snap to. That's what I'm going to try to figure out in the next video. So I'm just moving it over just a little bit with my arrow keys. As long as all of them look pretty close. Let me move this one out of the way. Because you could still select it all. Go to the artistic media tool. Pick on it. And you get that effect. 
And if you look at it, all the lines are hidden and somewhat equal. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.